I shot this video on a GH5 with a super small gimbal. Can you believe it? And it's $200 cheaper than the newer version. Now everybody can be a filmmaker now with a very small size factor like this. This is what I love of this gimbal. The gimbal is recommended for action cameras and phones, but I got it to shoot with a pro camera and the results were staggering. All clips on this video are shot with a heavy Panasonic GH5 combined with a lighter lens. The videos that this device produces combined with a higher end camera and lens are just too good to be true. And the quality of the product is really top notch. Reliable and silent motors, firm grip, solid materials, nothing flimsy or poor build quality. I mean, it's really good. And the vortex mode is something that you have to use. It adds incredible production value to your videos. You have a screwable quarter inch socket to attach lights, microphones, side handles, and other accessories. Up to six different modes with horizon lock, follow, POV, go mode, vortex, and even more. Most are intuitive, just vortex is a little bit of a pain in the butt to set up. The comfort of a trigger to enable disable a lock on all axes, that'll keep the camera in one direction no matter what. A six hour long lasting battery functioning in temperatures from minus 10 to plus 40 degrees Celsius. The device never overheated on me and never was audible in my tests. Very clever locking system for a fast setup and balancing of the gimbal with stoppers at specific points allowing you to put the camera up and shoot straight away. It features a unique locking pin and latch design to prevent the axis from swinging around during travel by simply folding and locking up the arms. The Crane M2 easily fits in your backpack or even in your pocket. It is really, really small. With a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth control module, the Crane M2 allows you to control your camera wirelessly through the gimbal handle. Once paired, your camera and the gimbal will automatically pair again when you turn it back on. As you know, I'm always very honest on my videos and the gimbal is not perfect. And here's why. The gimbal has a proprietary base plate, meaning it's not a standard Arca Swiss plate. It won't be compatible with other adapters you may already have. That's painful since all my tripods, gimbals, arms, etc. use an Arca Swiss clamp system. The motors are strong, but your legs have to bend and you have to walk smoothly to avoid jitter on video. If you just walk, you'll have bumps all over your footage. The gimbal isn't meant for pro cameras, so if you wanna do as I do, you won't be able to use large lens. If you do, you'll have to balance the camera further back, limiting the up and down motion of the gimbal. Else you'll hit your screen on the gimbal itself in the back part of the camera. I thought the gimbal didn't have the 360 degree mode called vortex on this gimbal. I had to go through other YouTube videos to get into this mode because uh, it's quite complicated. You need to cycle the POV mode, then you have to double tap to reach go mode, then you have to double tap again. I mean, it could have been easier to reach this mode. Come on, Zune. All in all, it's a fantastic gimbal. The quality is really good. It does more than what it states, so it's a fantastic product. But I do think that this model could have done better, so I would rate it eight out of 10, given the problems it has. But honestly speaking, seeing that the newer model costs $200 more, I would truly go for this one. It works really, really well. The gimbal supports a payload of 130 grams all the way to 720 grams and even more. And the package includes one Crane M2, of course, a carrying case, a 3.0 USB to Type-C cable, hand strap, tripod, a quarter inch camera mount screw, one phone holder, a quick release plate, and a quick start guide. Also, the box is really nice. I love this gimbal. It performs better than the Enki Falcon. You can check the video review in the description below. Uh, but the fact that it's heavier, more technical, more complicated to use, it makes it my second choice for action cameras compared to the Enki Falcon. But for a pro camera, I would definitely use this. Do I recommend the Crane M2? Absolutely, yes. Do I recommend the upgrade to the M3? Not for $200 difference. Why would I put the extra money in $200 for a more expensive gimbal when you have such amazing results achieved on this one on such a good budget? All links to the gimbals and accessories are below. If you use the links, you're gonna help our channel grow. So thank you very much if you choose to do so. Now have a great day. We'll speak soon. Ciao.